This is a video for how to put holes in the sides of your Automata box. So one thing we want to do is make sure we're in the correct project file. I'm in my OCT Automata box project file. I'm going to say done. I'm going to say open and I'm going to find my box assembly and I'm going to say open here. And once we come into our Automata box assembly, uh, we're going to put holes in the sides. Now, if you remember from our week six slides, we said that the, I'm on the back piece here, the sides were 4x4 four four and had a depth of 0.23. So it's going to be pretty simple for us to go ahead and just put holes in the sides because really just, you know, obviously half of 4 is 2 and um, the depth isn't really going to matter as much as we go through this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our assembly. And now that we're in an assembly, we could open up the pieces. We could go up here to open and go to side. I've created two separate sides here that are the same. But I want to show you how you can go about creating a hole um, just within your assembly. So instead of coming up here and opening up the pieces and putting the holes in them separately, you can actually do this within an assembly. So you can come over here to browser bar and double click on side and you'll notice one of your side pieces opens up. In the top right hand corner, click on this blue button for return. You can also do that this way. I can just bring my mouse out here and double click on a part within an assembly. You'll notice the rest of the parts turn into a watermark. You can barely see them. They're there, but you just don't really need to reference them right now. So what we can do is we want to look at a side view of our piece. So I'm going to go to my view cube and I want to look at a two-dimensional view for this thing. We want an absolute two-dimensional view. So as I come in here, we can do this um, via geometry or we can do this via um, geometric constraints. We can do this um, either way we wish. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our pencil and we're going to click on Start 2D Sketch. And I think it might just be easier for us to draw lines like we would in any normal wood shop. So one thing we have to be mindful of is the fact is that our back piece back here is pushed in to the side over here. So we kind of want to have the half that we're finding to be half of this distance here. We don't want to have a lack of room back here at the back. So remember, we extruded each one of these pieces 0.23. So the thickness of each one of these things over here is 0.23. So this is going to walk us into our first understanding of something known as project geometry. So what we're going to do is go up to project geometry. And what project geometry does is it projects a geometric line that we can't see in a view. So you're going to notice if, once I click on project geometry, I can now see this line right here. And I want to click on that line. And it's going to turn yellow. I'm going to right click and say OK. So the easiest way for us to go about now finding the midpoint here is just to draw two diagonal lines. So I'm going to go to Line and go to the top left-hand corner and click. And I'm going to just go down to the bottom right-hand corner and click. And right-click and say OK. Go to Line again, top right-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner, and click. And you'll notice the actual middle of our side piece is actually this right here, but we want to subtract this out by drawing these lines. We've subtracted that out. Let's come up and use the Point command. We're going to click on Point, and I want you to place the point in the middle of that X. Now we could draw a circle and put in a diameter and just extrude it, but I'm gonna show you how to use the whole um, feature in Inventor. So once we do that, we're gonna to go to Finish Sketch. And we'll now have this sketch. We're gonna go up to the whole command up here in the top middle. And automatically Inventor sees that point and recognizes it as a whole. So our diameter that we had was 0.23. We want this axle to be able to turn a little bit, so we can always go back and modify this. I'm going to put in 0.25 for the diameter of our hole. So we're going to come back here, and I'm going to go 0.25 right here. And where it says through all, through all means it's going to go all the way through this. So once we're done with that, we're going to say OK. And we're going to go to return. And you're going to notice now that we have a hole on the side, the right side of our object. Now we have two separate side pieces here. So let's flip around to the opposite side. We're going to double click on this side piece. We're going to go to our pencil, click on the side view. Now, when I go to project geometry, what's nice about this is I don't have to go to the, I don't have to draw these lines and do all that stuff. Because look, when I drag my mouse in the middle, there's that hole right there. See that? I can just click and we now have that circle. Now you might say to me, shouldn't we just go to finish sketch and go to extrude? You can, but I'd strongly encourage you for purposes later when you start making drawings, to always use the whole command when you make parts. So I'm gonna to go to finish sketch. I'm gonna go whole, go 0.25, go through all, we say okay, 
we go to return, and we now have those two holes in this object. Just like that. Let's hit the save button for automata box and say OK. There's our two holes in our side pieces. So this has been the video for how to create the two holes in the side pieces for the automata box. Have a good day.